Two decades before Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech, a group of African-American pilots were helping shape history. And now the heroic efforts of the Tuskegee Airmen comes to the big screen in the movie Red Tails. News 8's Keith Coons talked to a local pilot who was part of that legendary flying unit. I want everybody to give him a round of applause. Following a private screening of the movie Red Tails, Connie Napier of Hartford was treated as the American hero he truly is. Napier is one of the surviving members of the legendary Tuskegee Airmen, a group of African-American military pilots who served the nation in the European theater during World War II. But before they got their opportunity, many at the highest level of the U.S. military questioned if the black pilots had the right stuff. They was always said, you know, you black kids do not have the academic mentality or the physical requirements to go out and fly and fight. I think what it did was energize the young fellas. The Tuskegee Airmen's storied record of achievement would prove all the critics wrong. Joining Napier at Saturday's screening were two other Tuskegee Airmen, Jack Bryant and Harvey Sanford. I asked Bryant how he and his colleagues dealt with the overwhelming pressure to perform in what was still a segregated military. The pressure was really not a pressure because the mission was you wanted to fly an airplane. Everything else was secondary. The story of the Tuskegee Airmen, their patriotism, heroic actions, and flying skills are chronicled in the movie Red Tails. The pilots hope the film will inspire another generation to reach for the skies. They don't realize what's out there that they can do, especially in the field of aviation. Ironically and tragically, due to the prejudice of the day, none of the Tuskegee Airmen were able to fly for commercial airlines after the war. But thanks to history books and movies like Red Tails, their heroics will never be forgotten by a grateful America. Keith Koontz, News 8.